Good morning uh, from London. It's uh, early morning here in uh, in England, and um, I want to tell uh, a story that uh, happened a few years ago in uh, Eastbourne while I was working. Uh, uh, while I was working, helping uh, someone uh, to start. Uh, the, the coffee business uh, that uh, was inside uh, of one of those uh, historical phone boxes, phone booths, where uh, the the lady that owns the shop, the owner the business, uh, uh, placed a coffee machine uh, and uh, was uh, selling uh, her coffee that uh, she imported from Brazil. I I think by then uh, I don't know if it was the second time back in Eastbourne or the first time because I've been back uh, for work a few times. But one uh, one day I <clears throat> I decided to go for a walk and on the on the cliffs because basically between uh, Eastbourne and Brighton there are some of the most beautiful uh, sceneries that uh, you can see in the world i would probably say, <coughs> i would say probably say in the world i'm sure there are other places in this planet where you can find uh, something similar uh, but definitely this it's it's one of the most beautiful it's called the seven sister cliffs and there's a series of cliffs uh, that uh, Takes and then that goes to uh, farms and woodlands, and uh, it basically goes all the way, you know, from Eastbourne to Brighton. Obviously, if you, if you come uh, from Brighton, all the way from Brighton to Eastbourne, and it's beautiful, it's wonderful. And uh, if done in a sunny day, it's, uh, I mean, it's always stunning regarding, but obviously, in a sunny day, it's uh, something uh, outwardly. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful place, a wonderful walk. And uh, so at the time I was lucky because it was very short shift and, uh, you know, we finished a tree. So I had, uh, and it was summer, so I had a long daylight and uh, I had uh, all afternoon uh, to spend, uh, you know, wandering around, exploring. So... You know, I decided that uh, to go for this really nice walk uh, on uh, on the cliffs and uh, just literally walk until uh, you know until I was you know I would be tired or, or it would start to get uh, uh, dark. So I started uh, I started my walk. I was in a great mood, and uh, I was I remember I was having uh, you know thoughts about you know the past um, I was making story in my mind you know with the beautiful happy endings uh, with um, I remember like uh, with my ex-girlfriends and uh, so I was just uh, you know I was having like um, I was creating all this uh, story where you know like uh, you know everything is was like perfect because it was reflecting uh, how I felt um, I was feeling like uh, you know light and happy and uh, all uh, that would come across my mind was of happy 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 vibes but then uh, like like uh, happiness or feeling good or in peace is something that uh, you need work to to maintain. You need to work uh, to achieve it, and uh, even when you achieve it, you need to work hard to keep under control your emotions and feelings. Because what we feel can change in the blink of an eye, and uh, if we are not aware, we can you know we basically we become like uh, a boat sailing where basically unable to control uh, the sailing 
like the wind and the waves push us around as they please. So if this ocean is calm, then uh, it's a smooth sailing. But if the ocean is angry, the boat goes everywhere, you know, like uh, goes crazy. So obviously our emotions is the same and uh, they can be affected by external circumstances can be you know the, the weather people and our thoughts ourselves so as we you know might feeling good and feel great uh, and having great thoughts and then uh, all of a sudden we might start uh, uh, to don't feel great any longer and uh, and again if you don't know how to control uh, our feelings then uh, we might start to think about all uh, negative and uh, uh, all negative uh, thoughts that uh, eventually will affect your feelings and then you're gonna start to feel like crap and it's gonna start to feel sad and angry and that's what happened that day so i let a thought one single thought slip into my head and instead to take it and throw it away and then I just keep focus on uh, what, what would, was making me happy, I let uh, that thought get inside and then uh, like a boat start to get more water and as it get more water then I eventually sink. I start to get more thoughts, bad thoughts, angry thoughts and then uh, eventually I sink, I sank so from a happy and joyful I start to get gloomy and angry so I let the thought of my brother um, that um, I do have some issue and uh, and the thought of my brother and uh, the worry about something that we were supposed to have around seven the day the thought that he would not he might not uh, you know call we had a you know, like a call uh, we had a zoom call and the thought that he might not attend like he did many times and let me down uh got me like uh, off guard and i started to reject it i let that i let that for the in and uh, and eventually my mood became dark um, i got in a bad mood angry and uh, and uh, as slowly um thoughts about suicide start to come inside my head and uh, being on the cliffs start to thinking about uh, you know if i jump if i jump and then everything is over and uh, i started to think uh, in the way i could kill myself and uh, how people will react uh, to my death now there were just thoughts but I won't deny that I did try to commit suicide in uh, in the past and uh, this happened years ago um, I was like 26 and it was uh, it was going through a really rough I mean it was, but at the time it was many many years that I was going through hardships so I got to, to one of the tallest bridge uh, in my area where basically people go and commit suicide and uh, I took the car I got on the bridge and I think I spent like three hours getting out of the car start to walk toward the the, the bridge and then walk back and then uh, inside the car like this fight within because obviously the fear of the unknown was you know stronger than uh, than, than the fear of the known. So after many hours, uh, I ended up uh, not doing it. That's why I'm here talking. And, uh, you know, over the years, there have been periods where, you know, I thought, you know, more about it. And then, uh, and all the, and the periods where I, you know, didn't. So I don't know. So I'm not here to say, that is right or wrong. Uh, I'm 
I'm not here to judge anyone that uh, tried or tried and uh, made it. But the day I ended up at the point thinking about, because you are on the cliffs, all you need to do is to jump. You hit the ground at this down, at this down, and it's done. So I was in my head, uh, and one as I start to get really, uh, you know, angry. You know, I started to, you know, basically, uh, I just yeah let myself uh, get on that uh, path. And as uh, the in the mood was getting darker and darker, all of a sudden uh, something drew my attention and uh, was basically a dead rabbit that basically I, s I mean that when you see something dead it's not as bad as you think, it's normally is a sign of a, of a change and uh, signs of transformation. Sometimes something sign of a renewal because when something die, something gets uh, born from it. So, but I saw the dead rabbit and I saw it as a sign that I was, I, I was drawing, I was drawing to me all now negative uh, events. So, I tried to change how I was feeling, but like not with resources, I was not feeling as any longer as when I started the walk. But as uh, I became aware of all those thoughts, I started to shift that feelings. Because as I said earlier, you have control over your thoughts and feelings. So thoughts are connected to your feelings because good thoughts, happy thoughts, happy feelings. Bad thoughts, grumpy thoughts, grumpy feelings. So once you recognize that, you can shift it. You have that power. Like uh, you can literally start to focus your attention to something you like, to something you want to choose, to something good until uh, the, f the feelings from feeling uh, low will slowly shift and start to feeling high. Now, it's very important, as I said many times, because good emotions, they are energy, emotion are energies, and uh, it will start to create uh, all uh, the kind of reality that match that energies so all uh, the things that you are going to meet or see uh, is going to reflect what, what you feel so again if your energy is very low and negative that's gonna it's gonna it's what what you're gonna attract to you so that's why it's so important uh, to shift it's so important to shift uh, those emotions from you know, low to high. So, anyway, I guess that, and uh, well, one more thing, because it's not immediate. So it's like, once you start to shift your emotions, it will take some time before uh, it align uh, with the energy of this universe. So it's not like, okay, I'm feeling good and now everything is gonna, everything, and now good things will happen. You know, it will take some time. So I guess that day, the day all the negativity that I entertained myself uh, for, a, for a bit while, while walking, it did create a whole situation that for the day that would basically match uh, that really heavy emotion. Because you can have like a good, uh, good feelings, but then you can have a really intense and heavy, low, low energy emotions. And that, that intensity is what uh, is gonna speed up the process. So in the moment I was feeling bad, it was really intense. 
So anyway, I saw this dead rabbit. It didn't give me good feelings. And, uh, but it was a sign for me that I had to shift what I was feeling. So I restart my walk and, uh, you know, I was on, uh, and I was on the top of one of those cliffs when I saw a woman uh, leaning uh, on the edge of the cliff with a man holding uh, her legs. Um, not something you want to see. So I made a joke and I said, uh, like, listen, be careful, don't, don't, don't jump from the cliff. And they look at me, there was, I think it was two women and two men, and they look at me, it's like, look, we think that someone actually did uh, jump from the cliff because we found uh, this backpack uh, and uh, it's been here for a while. Nobody came back to pick it up. And there's a bad sign. There's a very bad sign, especially if you're on the cliffs and you have a backpack very close to the cliff. So... I joined them and uh, tried to see if I could see anyone and I couldn't go too close to the cliff because it's kind of like uh, suffer a bit of vertigo but even like the, the lady that was looking down could not really uh, see anything especially because like the cliff there are kind of like it's very high that point is really 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 high and uh, it kind of goes you know like a bit like get inside so it's no it's not kind of like you can really see well down and uh, so we start to like walk up and down the nearest point to get on the beach was too far and uh, so I got on, uh, I took the backpack and uh, I opened it uh, to see, you know, if there was like suicidal notes uh, or anything. But I noticed there was like a pile up some stones. There was some coins piled up and inside the backpack there was notebooks and uh, the phone. So, I take uh, the, the wallet and the wallet, uh, I find there was some money, some ID cards and the ID cards was, um, I found an Oyster card with a picture of, uh, I can't remember if it was a picture of the girl, I think there wasn't, but there was the, the, the age range of that Oyster card that is basically uh, is an Oyster card for teenagers from 11 to 15 so basically with that oyster card you get discount when you pay so obviously the girl was between 18, 11 to 15 and uh, <coughs> and there was a um, like a card of a, maybe the high school where she that she attended and uh, and uh, once i opened the notebook and there was basically notes uh, that was really interesting because the notes was about basically some sort of app like a form app that uh, the girl was kind of like uh, working on and uh, and there was regard it was an app uh, to help people with mental health so there was some design some uh, something drawn on it um, basically there was a uh, in one page she drew like a pyramid of uh, all uh, like uh, symptoms of mental health uh, issues you know like depression anxiety panic attacks and uh, then they were uh, going uh, all toward one point now i can't remember very well but and then there were some notes written and uh, the notes uh, written uh, was again i can't remember very well but it, it was related to how the development of this of this hub so um i mean uh, it's uh i mean that, at that stage it was kind of like uh, obvious that something uh, something happened 
and uh, so we called the police and the police arrived um, and uh, uh, they climbed down uh, and uh, you know, we waited there and, uh, and then like uh, one of them uh, basically came to us and uh, told us to uh, to leave because yeah there was the body there was a body there was a body of uh, probably of the girl and so they all told us to leave because at that point they basically climbed down and uh, I think they were going uh, to take the body of, uh, of the girl up or maybe they would maybe they would taking from uh, from the beach but anyway they send us home because uh, they say look yeah there is a body you know there's nothing you can do so it's uh, you know like I understand what might going on inside the head of this girl because I've been through uh, the same the only difference that I didn't jump like she did. But I understand how hard it's, uh, it's life. I understand how hard is life. And uh, it's no easy to, you know, go through this existence. This is, this is society is so really heavy you know everything that uh, we witness is somehow try to take us like down a very low emotional state daily and uh, if you learn how to protect yourself and how shift and uh, you know how to live uh, life uh, without uh, let all this uh, negativity affect you life can be better for sure um, even happier uh, can be serene can be in peace can be wonderful but it's not easy it's not easy and it's not easy and uh, it, even when you start even when you understand that there is the possibility to control your emotions it takes time to learn and master it so and uh, i understand this girl you know life uh, is a lottery you know you might come from a very you know a very good family background in a very good country and everything can work well in your life or you can come from a, a very dysfunctional family in a very violent environment i mean and now who decide who pick the right places or the and the who picks the wrong place i don't know who decide that what I know is that even if you come from a, like a very good uh, neighborhood with a very good family, it doesn't mean uh, there's no automatic that you will not suffer. It would be just different the suffering. But obviously you grew up uh, in a society that basically all that teach you is to feel unhappy because that's what this society is about is to feel in a daily basis unhappy and uh, our society is becoming uh, I mean our society has never never been good it's just uh, shifting the way it's, it's trying to make us feel shit and uh, <clears throat> 
and the internet they can reach everyone everywhere instantaneously it's just basically made possible that this uh, fucked up society can reach everyone make them and make everyone fucked and feeling shit and horrible so it's very it's very challenging it's really challenging like now we can give it a bigger picture that i do strongly believe that there is a bigger picture and uh, and uh, you know this is this society is not being created uh, uh, by accident so there is a, a reason behind and maybe this reason is to learn now again like if we go back to the god uh, uh, path why god needs to create uh, something less perfect than god don't know again god doesn't make doesn't need friends doesn't need the partnership so i'm sure that it's happy as it is or you maybe doesn't feel anything so why have no clue all i know is that obviously for personal experience you can you can you can learn and how to make this journey happier and more in peace and uh, and then obviously it's up to you if you want to use those knowledges that you gain uh, to help other people so that they, they can gain the same insight and improve their lives so but regarding you understand and learn you go to you probably very likely you will go through suffering and uh, and you and you know and it, it's very it's very hard it's very hard especially if you're aware of the mystery we are surrounded and the, on top of it you need to protect yourself from uh, literally everything from people, society, environment that will try to basically kill you emotionally. So it's hard, it's hard. And, uh, you know, and at some point, if you were, you know, if, if the lottery is basically, you pick it in the lottery, you pick like a, a more sensitive personality, it's gonna affect you badly. And that, that will lead, uh, like happened to many people, to suicidal thoughts. And that uh, suicidal thoughts then uh, become suicidal, uh, like plans. And then uh, you kill yourself, or you try to kill yourself. So that's why I understand. I'm not judging her. I'm not judging anyone that I know that. Uh, commit a suicide because I understand how hard uh, it is to go through all this so obviously now I'm I'm conscious as well that I can uh, basically shield myself from uh, all uh, the lower energies around me and uh, I'm you know now I'm most most of the time I'm able to be in peace and uh, and happier and uh, basically live daily with a purpose a meaningful purpose and uh, and in the peace it's not happening all the time because you know again there are moments where my feelings is under the water and there is a fight to get those lower feelings to rise up but it, you, we can, we can, and then uh, I would say the most beautiful things we can do is uh, to help and uplift other people's feelings. So that, uh, again, as I said many times, so that we can reach the point where we can, uh, we can you know, go through this mystery happier. And as we rise our vibrations and energy and the 
would become more in peace, automatically there would be less suicide. And, and uh, to the point that eventually those suicides will disappear completely. And maybe when everyone will be in peace, even uh, this, uh, this existence will disappear, because maybe the purpose was to learn that. I don't know. I mean, obviously what I, I feel, I like to believe, is something that I can't completely prove. It's just something that uh, I feel within that could be true. So, I hope, uh, and well, actually I believe that the soul of this girl is definitely somewhere better. This body is a costume. Uh, all of this is just a, a temporary costume that eventually we will remove. And uh, strongly believe that the body, <clears throat> the body might die. The soul, it's uh, endless. It never, it never die. So, wherever, whatever, 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 I don't know where the soul of this girl is now. And, uh, and the other things like that I feel is that our soul doesn't have gender. Our soul is a soul. It's everything. So, that's why I don't want to call the soul of this girl that in this lifetime she was wearing the costume of a girl. So, the soul of this entity, I strongly feel is in a better place where it's in peace for real this time. And, uh, and then when uh, my costume will be gone, maybe I will have the chance to meet uh, this entity and discuss about uh, what uh, let uh, that, uh, you know, event uh, to take place so that uh, maybe even uh, in the other side why we can still learning and grow namaste and i hope that for everyone today will be a day where you can experience inner peace it's wonderful when you can stay, you can be in that state. It's wonderful. And it's really, when you are in the state, it's everything becomes magic. And everything's that we start to experience will be, becomes magical. So yeah, try your best for, to achieve that. Have a good day, everyone. And again, namaste.